Lois Schmidt and her son, seven-year-old Jonathan Petrano, died 14 years ago, only after being pulled from their burning Virginia Beach home. Did police figure out the pair had been shot to death? Ever since that night, her family has been waiting for an arrest in this case. Those prayers have been answered. Robert Boyd is live in the studio with the new developments. Well, it will actually be 14 years tomorrow that Lois Schmidt and her seven-year-old son, Jonathan Vitrano, were killed. And for more than a decade, police continued to investigate, never giving up. And now they believe the two men responsible will finally see their day in court. It was just before 8 a.m. on June 28, 2004, that Virginia Beach police were called to this home on Newcomb Road. The house had been set on fire. Inside were the bodies of 29-year-old Lois Schmidt and her son, seven-year-old Jonathan Vitrano. It was later determined both died from gunshot wounds. In the front yard, another family member was shot, Lois's brother, who survived. Two pets inside the home were also shot, one dying. Hours after the murder's rampage, this is what police had to say. All I'm concerned about now is this gunman's on the loose and somebody needs to find him. 14 years later, police believe they finally got the people responsible. On June 23rd, 43-year-old Richard Stoner was arrested in Indiana and charged with two counts of first-degree murder. Two days later, 46-year-old Christopher Schmidt was arrested in Florida and charged with one count of first-degree murder. The home belongs to Lois's parents, who continue to live there today. They declined to speak with 13 News Now for this story. The Virginia Beach Police Department did release this statement. We wish to thank the family of Lois Schmidt and Jonathan Vitrano for their patience and encouragement over the years. We further request that everyone respect their privacy as they navigate this new and challenging chapter of their lives. Both of these suspects are being held in custody, awaiting extradition back to Virginia Beach, where they will stand trial. Live in the studio, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.